Hello, everybody. Okay, so a little while back, I learned how to make this little origami ring out of a dollar bill, and it's it's basically the only origami that I've ever been able to do. And I like wearing this basically everywhere because I like to see what reactions I can get off people when I try to pay for stuff with it. What's that? You're just buying a candy bar? Okay, that'll be a dollar fifteen. The look on their face while they have to sit there and unfold the dollar bill just to put it in the register, it is just priceless. Thank you for your purchase. Goodbye. Goodbye. I tried doing that at McDonald's once, and people started clapping, like right before I got to the really creepy part, and I had to yell at everyone, like, calm down! just ordering a soda. It's actually pretty strange because a gift can become much better depending on the way it's presented. Yeah, sure, you could go out, you could spend $200 on some chocolates and some roses and whatnot. Here you go, babe. These made me think of you. So you want to do it now or after you eat the chocolate? Oh, on second thought, give me those back. Yeah, I don't need you getting fat on me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Where are you going? You want me to start without you? Knew I should have bought that hooker instead. I heard that! Babe, there you are! I love you! Meanwhile, a mile away, I'm sitting there with a girl. Yeah, date three is tomorrow. Oh shit, I haven't gotten her anything. Uh... Babe, this ring is for you. I made it myself. Because you're the one and only girl for me. And she's sitting there thinking, oh, that's so beautiful. Not realizing the only thought running through my head is, oh yeah, that, di that line is definitely going to get me laid tonight. And the next morning, she's going to be sitting there. She's going to look at that ring, and she's going to think to herself, did I just sleep with that guy for a dollar? And she's going to look at the ring, and she's going to start shaking like, ugh, I think I need a shower. Yeah, that's right. A poet can get laid for a lot less than a dollar. See if that works with anything else. You think you're going to get a blowjob over a Snickers bar, some soda, or some french fries? No. Well, I guess you could if you're a really smooth talker, but good luck with that. Alright, everybody, that is the end of my episode. If you want to learn how to make your own little origami dollar ring, I'll put the link to the video in the description below. But until next time, my name is Matthew Gordon the Gew, and I hope you all have a hilarious day.